Do you know famous Indian scientist and aerospace engineer Mr Nambi Narayanan was once falsely charged with espionage and arrested The charges against him were dismissed by CBI in 1996 and the Supreme Court of India declared him not guilty in 1998 Let's try to find out more about this great scientist Mr Nambi Narayanan first met the great scientist and innovator Vikram Sarabhai who was father of Indian space research and then chairman of ISRO in 1966 He worked as a payload integrated there in ISRO but Sarabhai offered him leave for higher education if he made it to any of the Ivy League university Subsequently Narayanan earned a NASA fellowship and entered Princeton University in 1969 The brilliant Mr Nambi Narayanan completed his master program in record 10 months. Despite being offered a job in the US, Narayanan returned to India with expertise in liquid propulsion at a time when Indian rocketry was still solely dependent on solid propellants. Mr Narayanan introduced the liquid fuel rocket technology in India in the early 1970s when Dr APJ Abdul Kalam team was working on solid motors. Mr Narayanan developed liquid propellant motors first building a successful 600 kg thrust engine in the mid 70s after working for nearly 2 decades. With French assistance Narayanan's team developed a Vikas engine. not current government's vikas engine but his liquid propellant vikas engine used by several isro rockets including pslv that took chandrayaan 1 to the moon in 2008 in 1994 mr narayanan was charged with leaking vital defense secrets to two alleged maldivian intelligence officers maryam rashida and fauzia hasan He was arrested and spent 48 days in jail. He said the IB officials who integrated him wanted him to make false accusations against the top brass of ISRO. When he refused to comply, he was tortured until he collapsed and was hospitalized. In May 1996, the charges were dismissed by CBI. They were also dismissed by Supreme Court in April 1998. 2001 The NHRC ordered the government of Kerala to pay him a compensation of rupees 1 crore. He retired in 2001. Later in 2018, a three-judge bench led by Chief Justice Deepak Mishra also awarded Mr. Narayanan rupees 50 lakhs in compensation for the mental cruelty he suffered all these years. And finally, this scientist got justice from government of india when he got the third highest civilian award of the country the padma bhushan in the field of science and engineering space kudos to him jai hind